starts now. I've shed a lot of tears because uh, I'm hurt, I'm angry. It was very hard and difficult for, for us to watch. Word of God Ministries members speak out after their church was broken into early this morning. The pastor of Word of God Ministries in Shreveport tells us that a man broke a glass door on the east side of the building at 430 this morning and came in with a five gallon can of gasoline. He then made his way to the church's children's center and set the area on fire. KSLA News 12's Michael Barnes spoke with the head of the children's center whose heart is with his kids. It was very hard and difficult for, for us to watch. As members of Word of God Ministries watched video of their church vandalized, they were devastated. I've shed a lot of tears because uh, I'm hurt, I'm angry. Angry at a person who broke in during the middle of the night, dousing the church's children's center with gasoline and lighting it on fire. For somebody to take it upon themselves to come up here in the middle of the night and try to destroy something that brings these children joy, upsets me deeply. Henry Whitehorn Jr. watches over those children every Sunday and Wednesday. I'm thinking about the children. While those children are Henry's top priority, his heart hurts for the church's head, Pastor Henry McMinnis. His heart is, is for the people and for him to see this hurts him and for me to see my brother hurt hurts me. We're told the damages were small and easily repairable. The congregation feels God's arms were wrapped around them. I'm very excited that that it was minimal damage. It could have been a lot worse, but in Jesus name it wasn't. So I just give all the glory and praise to God for that. Henry says this Sunday he'll put a crucial effort towards showing those kids extra loving care. Well, we're going to have it cleaned up for them and we're going to be in the spirit of excellence and I'm going to love on them more this Sunday than I did last Sunday and I'm going to continue to do that. The church plans to hold services as they normally would this coming Sunday. I'm not going to let the actions of somebody else uh, steal my joy. Michael Barnes reporting, KSLA News 12.